The death toll from a cyclone in Madagascar has risen to 25. Snow has covered Rome's Colosseum. They are the worst floods for a century. Cities around the world are running out of time. According to experts, 70% of cities around the globe are disproportionately experiencing the extreme effects of climate change. Rising global temperatures affect sea levels, increasing the number of floods, droughts and storms in coastal areas, where roughly 90% of the world's cities are situated. Cities also consume about two-thirds of the world's energy and produce over 70% of global CO2 emissions. This is due not only to the vast increase in city populations following mass urbanization, but also because of the way cities are planned or structured. Responses to these issues at the city level can contribute significantly towards global climate-proofing efforts. Despite this, many cities simply don't have the capacity, knowledge or resources to address climate change and its consequences. There is, however, a window of opportunity for future climate-proofing, since over 60% of areas projected to form urban spaces by 2030 have yet to be built. But how are future cities going to address the ever-growing challenges that climate change creates? The Global Cities Fit for Climate Change, or CFCC project, aims to help cities by generating locally tested knowledge that addresses the important convergence between climate proofing and urban development. Over the course of three and a half years, and through contributions from the project's partner cities, Eteguini, Santiago de Chile, and Chennai, CFCC has developed the Climate Proof Urban Development Approach, or CLIMPUDA. The approach provides a solid framework for cities to refer to in their efforts towards becoming more climate friendly and arose as a response to a single key question. What are the most strategically important fields that cities need to engage with in their battle against climate change? Four fields of action were identified in response which form the foundations of Klimpuda. They are governance and management, policies and strategies, measures from policy to action, and capacity development. These four fields of action are entry points for urban practitioners that provide guidance in developing, implementing, and sustaining each city's own climate-proof urban development efforts. One of the main takeaways from Klimpuda is that climate change does not adhere to administrative boundaries. It affects cities at all levels of operation. As such, efforts to tackle climate change require multi-level cooperation across all sectors of government and society. The four fields don't operate as a hierarchy, but as areas where climate-proofing action needs to be considered and which propose a holistic way of thinking about city development. The threat that climate change poses is growing, but there is still time to seize the closing window of opportunity to make strategic changes in the way that our cities are developed, improving the quality of life for those who live there. More detailed information about Klimpuda and the four fields of action can be found in the CFCC's interactive digital sourcebook published online.